They serve your food, park your car, input your data, and do all kinds of work. But one million Floridians get no health benefits at their jobs. They pay taxes, but they barely make ends meet. Without insurance, they gamble on their health. Lynn Ann is one of them. She has breast cancer and has gone through several surgeries and now ongoing radiation. Soon she'll have to start taking a drug that costs $300 a month. So far, the hospital has been absorbing most of her health care expenses, but she worries about her future. It doesn't have to be this way. If the state of Florida accepted federal funding, which we have already paid for, it would provide coverage to people like Lynn Ann who work hard but can't afford insurance. There's a tremendous need for people like me. We're struggling. Floridians are already funding health care options for the working poor, but the money is going elsewhere. University of Florida researchers calculate next year Florida taxpayers will be sending $4.7 billion in Medicaid subsidies to other states. How does that make me feel? Furious, angry, as a working American citizen, if I could do something, I would. What do you want us to do? Where is the space for us? The Florida Hospital Association and Chamber of Commerce are encouraging our state legislators to close the Florida health care gap by accepting federal funding. Go to GetFloridaCovered.com and email your legislator. Help hardworking Floridians get healthy. I'm Barbara West.